What's going on guys? So the patch dropped, point 12 is now live and you can go try to get on the servers and play a few raids. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that the first day the patch dropped was really difficult to get anything done, but I was able to jump into reserve a few times as a PMC and a player scav. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my first raid playing reserve. Oh, before we begin, I will include a map to the reserve base. Now, mind you, it doesn't include all the extractions. This is very preliminary, just a little bit of information that we know so far that might help you survive your raids if you actually get into the map. It's gonna be a few more days before I can really understand the entire map, but at this point, I already know most of the extraction points, so I'll be talking about that in a future video. But with that being said, let's take a look at reserve. We're in. Toolbox. Oh, look at this. Everything's kind of different too. You got like... I'm keeping most of it. Relay? I don't even know what the fuck that is. A device designed to protect the electrical motor or electrical installation powered from three phase electrical networks. Okay, whatever the fuck that means. I have no meds. And I also have no idea where the, the scavs are. Yeah, I didn't want to risk going into our hideout to get the medication. We got electrical boxes here. Oh, we got more military crates. That one we can't loot. There's ammo on this one. This is online. I could only get into online. Offline wasn't working for me. So this is the real fucking deal, boys. I don't even know where I am right now. I'm in some sort of like... I'm inside the some sort of dorm or gymnasium or something. Any stutters? Um, I mean, so far we're doing all right. Ooh, need that. Oh, this is blue gunpowder. Tin with gunpowder, essential resources for creating cartridges. Uh, this is kite gunpowder. Okay. Sprats. You know what's crazy? We need sprats down the road. So I'll just like keep the can of sprats for now. Something over here. Just in case we need a snack for later. So this is probably where the bunker, where the key is. Whoa, what is this? It's like a metro or some shit. This is crazy. Still no scavs under here, underground, from what I've noticed. But I suspect we will have other players on this map with me. Um, so we have to be very careful. Because this is off this is online mode, so this is not offline. And we have no meds, by the way. No meds. I wasn't able to get into the hideout. I was warned not to go into the hideout right now because it would crash my game. So we just immediately went into the military base. I would say, like, I couldn't get into offline mode, though. If, the, if you do eventually get it downloaded, I just, I couldn't do it for some reason. Mark was the first one to get in. Markstrom could have been the first person to get into military base on stream, actually. So immediately when I heard he got into an offline game, I sort of canceled my offline and tried to get into online, and it worked. Gas analyzer. I don't know what those relays are for, but I know I need the gas analyzer, so I'm just gonna take the shit that I know I need. I just kept trying. Oh, movement. The player. Later, homie. 
It only sounded like the one. Navid the God. We found all sorts of shit. Light bulb? Tubes? He's doing the same thing as me. Oh. Oh shit. That is kind of nuts. There's an elevator here. Can I shut the door? Dude, I don't think I can. Can't get into the elevator, so we have to go up. Just looking for things to loot, guys. Okay, I can't go up this way. That's open. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Dude, I'm actually so scared right now. That might be cool to check out, this building here. There's our scav. My God. Are you fucking serious? Holy shit. <laughs> what? This map is huge. It's going to take us weeks to explore this entire thing. Holy fuck. I thought we were, like, in the military base. We were in, like, a bunker under one building of this massive place. Holy shit. Well, I guess let's start in here. We'll go take the high ground first. So the player scavs are definitely battling. Good luck getting out. Yeah, I feel like our odds of getting out are pretty slim here, but... Like, again, we have... Cliff Descent. We might be close to Cliff Descent. Oh! SVT? You serious? Does it come with a mag? Less than half. There's just so many buildings. Yeah, I think we have to deal with that problem, personally. Oh shit. Not good. Dude, it's hard to hit. It's hard to hit that guy, all right? Right there, huh? Does it have anything in it? No, I think it's empty. Let's try, though. Let's try. Maybe there's one in the chamber. Oh. 
Oh. I don't do you see any movement? I don't see any movement. I'm empty. Just shoot it. There's lots of ammo. What do you mean? How much ammo is there? I want to waste it just so nobody else can shoot me with it. Dude, I, I like the slight increase to the crouch movement speed. That was a good call. Yo, glue car is on this map, by the way. We heard him er earlier already. Glue car is 100% on this map. So it'd be dope if we could find him and kill him. I feel like this guy could be in the building in front. Or like, oh, left to right. The scav. Player scav. Okay. Up by radio tower, go towards the cliff. Okay, so we... Boys, we can't get too excited over the fucking train. But there's the train. How do I get there without getting killed? And like, what did that player scab even have? Should I try for the train? Fuck. Someone's been through here. It's PVP, dead players. He's in here. Damn. Took a painkiller too. I don't have a grenade. We can try to avoid him and just get to the train. It's a waiting game? I know. Communicate? Nah. I want to go to the train. Might be a mistake.
Come on. Shit. I think I got killed by a scav. One tap by the scav. The dude was like trying to jump through the hole in the wall. There's like a piece of wood there. Got one tapped by a shotgun. Fuck. No. Varan. Oh, was this a... Was this a like some sort of raider or some shit? Going for the train? I don't know, but dude, that was really intense. Holy shit. Yeah, it was sort of heartbreaking to die to a scav from behind, even though I was making, I feel like, the right decision in PvP, forcing that guy out of the building, uh, waiting for him to rush towards my position. But in hindsight, going to the train would have been much cooler and maybe even safer, but I'm not even too sure about that. But this was the first raid of Patch.12 for me and my first time ever on Reserve. I have played on reserve some more. I know where the extractions are. I kind of know how the map works now, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get enough footage today because the servers were just constantly unavailable. So I'm going to be taking a bit of a break. I'm going to be streaming again in the middle of the night on October 28th. So likely by the time that this video goes live on my YouTube channel, I should actually be streaming live at twitch.tv slash deadly slob. Again, this is the first time I was on reserve. I guarantee there's going to be some great action, some good content coming out of this map. I'm super excited to dive back into some more Tarkov. So consider following this channel or subscribing here for more Tarkov videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, hopefully with my hands on some new, some of the new weapons.